Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how we use the Add Rotate plugin on this website to add sponsors and their uh, associated ads. Okay, so first of all I'm logged into the uh, dashboard and I'm going to take a look at this little thing over here called Add Rotate, the plugin that I installed. It has a number of functions. It's a very powerful plugin and it allows you to do things like tracking, how many clicks, um, how many uh, sponsors uh, had people interested in what they saw, and uh, a whole lot of things like that. So you can see a bunch of stuff here. Um, so it, once you're in there, um, what you want to do is click on this one over here called Manage Ads. And we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new ad. Okay, so what we want to do first of all is we want to find out uh, or get some inf get some um, a picture from the ad from the the sponsor. So I'm just going to pick for the sake of um, a demonstration here. The city of Abbotsford is going to be our sponsor, and I'm going to go and pick a picture from them. This is a nice big one. I'll always go to view image so I get the largest possible picture, and I'll just drag that picture to my desktop over there. Okay, so second of all, I'm going to go back over here, and even before I go in to create the ad, I'm going to create a post. And uh, it's a special kind of way of doing the post so that um, I can kind of get everything working properly. So I'm going to go into posts over here, and I'm going to add a new post over here. And you see I've done a couple of them already. And uh, what I like to do here is type in sponsor, so I know what kind of po um, post it is and actually put a dash uh, city of Abbotsford in this case. Okay, now second of all I'm going to add this thing over here, this picture. I'm going to add media like I'll always do, upload files and drag this guy in here like this. So up comes the picture. Now the picture was a very large picture but we really only need it to be 300 pixels wide so we're going to choose luckily enough we've got Kind of a nice choice there, 300 pixels wide, and insert that into the post. And um, let's go into visual here. So s lastly, what we want to do is when someone clicks on this picture, we want them to go to the sponsor's web page. So let's go back over here, City of Abbotsford, and uh, this is their web page. So we're just going to make sure we have the right address. Let's just copy this over here. And we've got that there, so let's put that. What we're going to do here is we're going to click on the picture. And we're going to click on the link tool, and I'm going to paste in that URL. So now this picture has a URL clickable uh, feature to it. So when we're done, we don't actually publish this. We simply um, save the draft like this. Once we save the draft, uh, we're going to look at the uh, let's thing finish here. Back into to text, you see here's all that stuff that it made. We can just copy the whole works. Copy that. And uh, we're going to now go back and create ourselves a new ad with this little code. So that's the first thing. We made a post. We didn't publish it to the public. We just saved it uh, as a draft. And we go back to Add Rotate, Manage Ads. Okay, so we're going to add a new ad, so to speak. Click on Add New. And we give it a title, City of Abbotsford, just to remind us. This doesn't show up anywhere. And we paste that code in there. And ignore all the rest of this stuff. Hit save. Now remember that was a 300 pixel wide picture. We don't want it any wider than that. And we don't want it a whole lot smaller than that because we've kind of made a space on our website to have a 300 pixel wide banner ad. Okay, so now um, what we have to do is add it finally to a group. And we created a group for all of your sponsors called Class A Sponsors. We can change it later if you want. Um, so let's click on this over here. We're going to add that ad to this group. So far we have six um, ads in the group. If you scroll all the way, all the way, all the way down here, we can see all the ads that we have. And there's number 10. I'm just going to check it off and hit save. Now, magically, um, we've got a couple of spots where these ads will show up. Uh, let's look under um, I lost my spot here. Oh, here, under appearance and widgets. So, uh, we have one called Add Rotate. 
and we put the add rotate widget here on our right sidebar and I'll open it up a little bit and just explain I have a title here called our sponsors and I've chosen to run a group of ads to this little spot and it asks you what group well the group ID is one so we hit save so you don't have to do this every time in fact this is all set up that if your ad is in group one those class A sponsors uh, it will rotate through that spot as people hit that page uh, there's a lot of other things you can do to even make some ads show up more often than other ads. Um, yeah, it's all, there's a lot of things you can do, but at this point we'll keep it simple. Right sidebar is the right side of every single page. These are the home page positions. Uh, and I think we've also put this thing in the, yes we did, in the bottom right spot. And you can see the very same things in there, so we hit save. So now let's just take a look at our, um, the, the uh, results of this. And you'll see down here that as we refresh the page, that we get a different one each time in that spot. There we are. And that's how we work with 